this one we are going to be doing the German short row heel. This is a very fun and easy way to add some heels and doing them two at a time makes it very, very simple. A short row is where you are going to knit back and forth and decreasing the rows as you go. So you're gonna knit, turn, purl, turn, knit, turn, purl, turn, and then that creates your heel for you. This is a great technique if you are knitting some um, a pair of socks that you don't want to change the patterning, like a self-striping, self-patterning sock, because you're not increasing or decreasing the amount of stitches. The amount of stitches stay the same for the German short row heel. What you'll be needing is some stitch markers because you will be placing these to mark the center of your heel. For this example, we have cast on 44 stitches and we will be doing our heels on half of those stitches. Half of that is 22 stitches. Now I will include the link to the pattern and all of this detailed. When you are knitting a German short row heel, you want to divide your heel into three sections. You want to divide them one on each side and your middle. Each of these sides need to be an equal number. They, eat, they both need to be the same. So where I'm having 22 stitches, I will have seven stitches on each side and eight in the middle. It's very, very important because if these two sides don't match, then your heel will not be centered. So we are going to, for the first row, knit seven stitches, place your marker, knit eight stitches, place your marker. We're going to continue doing the exact same thing on the second needle, and then we will turn and do our short row. And this is what it looks like. I have already knit seven stitches, and I'm going to place my marker. Now I'm just using some little circular markers, but you can use any type of markers you have. Doesn't need to be anything fancy. I'm going to knit eight stitches. One, two, three, and um, a trick if you ever have stitches that are twisted, knit them through the back loop and it will actually untwist it on your work. So for an example, or you can just untwist it. I just redid my work, <laughs> I pulled out, so that's why some of these are, st are twisted a little bit. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this is eight. We are going to place our second marker and we are going to knit to the end. And you can see here, we have clearly marked each of the three sections using stitch markers. We are going to do the exact same thing on this needle. Going to knit seven. Place a marker. We're going to knit eight. Place our marker and knit to the end. You've just completed your first row on your German short row heel. Now you are going to turn your work because we are going to be working these stitches back and forth. We will not be working your front stitches yet. We'll be doing that later. Now to create your first short row, and this is how it is done. So we are going to purl the back of these stitches. You are going to Take that stitch, slip it on your needle, purl wise. I want you to take the yarn and bring it up. Do you see how, let me see how this created that. So this is the stitch and we're gonna take the yarn and pull it up. This is your 
double stitch. And we're going to purl across. Slipping the markers as you come to them. So you don't do anything special, you just slip that marker, continue purling across. Now if you wanted to do a garter heel, you would just knit the stitches in the back and that would create a fun garter stitch heel. I've done some of these and they are fun, they're a little squishy, so they just add a little something extra to your knitting. Slip the marker and purl across. Drop that yarn. We are going to work the second sock. Grab this yarn. And we're gonna do the same thing. So we slip the stitch purl wise onto our right hand needle. We're going to take the yarn and tug it going up. And it creates those little two strands. Bring it into purl and purl across. Slipping the marker and continuing on. Slip the marker, keep purling. Once you've gotten to the end, twist your work again because we're gonna keep on going on that needle. If you want to make sure that your, twist, your skeins aren't twisted in the back, you can always untwist them for the heel. Now you can see here that we have worked our first double stitch. So if I pull it a little bit, you can see that these double stitches are here. Let me zoom into this a little bit. Now you can see that that it created a double stitch on each side. So when we are going to turn our work, we are going to go to the stitch right before the last double stitch. We are not going to work it now because we wanna work these back and forth creating short rows. So when we go to right before, we're going to go to this stitch right here. We're gonna turn and do our double stitch on this one. We are going to be working our double stitches until we have worked all these before the stitch marker and as well all of those. So you're not going to be working the double stitches on your middle stitches, just on each side. And that is what's going to create that little short row. So let's keep going on to row two. We've just finished our setup row and our first row of double stitches. Now here is where we are going to work the socks one at a time on each of the needles. We are going to work the socks one at a time, finishing the German short row, and then we're going to move on to the second one. For the second row, we are going to make sure that our yarn is in the front of our work rather than the back. We are going to slip your first stitch purlwise onto that right hand needle. You are going to take your working yarn and you are going to tug it in the back, creating that double stitch. So my yarn was in the front, I bring it, tug it in the back. We're going to insert our needle into the second stitch and we are going to knit. And you can see here that it's created a double stitch. We are going to knit across to one stitch before the double stitch.
Here we are and you can see that this is our double stitch and I knit to one stitch right before. I'm going to knit this stitch and turn the work because we are going to finish this heel. We are going to turn our work. We are going to do the exact same thing, purl, slipping it on purl wise with the yarn in the front. We are going to tug, creating that double stitch, bringing the yarn back in front to purl. Okay, let me do that again to share with you all. You are going to slip the stitch purl wise onto your right hand needle, grabbing the yarn, tugging it, creating that double stitch, bringing it back in front to purl. You are going to continue these two rows, purling right before the double stitch, turning, double stitch. And this is going to create your short row. And we want to make sure that we work double stitches all the long side of the stitch marker. Slip marker. We are one stitch right before that short row. We are going to purl it and turn our work. Now you see how when I turn, I turn clockwise and then counterclockwise and it doesn't mess up my skeins at all. It keeps them straight. So here we are again, yarn in the front of your work. We are going to slip Purl wise, take the working yarn, tug it in the back, creating that sh double stitch. Oh, you just fell off right there. Bringing in to knit. So are, you are creating your double stitches. You are going to complete those two rows back and forth until you've worked all of the stitches on each side of the stitch markers and double stitches. Knitting that stitch. Turn my work. Slipping the stitch purl wise grabbing the working yarn and purl. Slip marker, purl across. One stitch before, purl. And now you see here, counterclockwise and it untwists my work in the back. Bring the yarn in front slip, bring it in the back, and keep going. I will meet you here once we've finished all of these stitches and are ready to do the second half of our short row heel. I have just finished working all the double stitches on each of the sides and I am now ready for the second part of the heel. I will be working to the first double stitch, working it as if one stitch, working the next one, and then turning. It looks a little something like this. Going to knit across the middle stitches. Here is also where you can remove the markers because we will just be working back and forth. You're going to knit those two together. See the two strands? You want to work those stitches as if they were one and you are going to knit. You're going to knit the first double stitch and then you are going to repeat with the second double stitch. We are going to turn our work, slipping this one as purl wise. We are going to do the double stitch again, purling across to our next double stitch. And we can remove the marker as well.
remove our marker. We are going to purl those two strands together. You can see here. Purl the first and purl the second. We are then going to turn our work again, doing a double stitch, slipping it on purl wise, the exact same thing that we did, bringing the yarn in the back and knitting. We're going to do this until we have worked all of our stitches. So we are going to work to the first double stitch right here. We're going to knit these two together, knit our second one together, and turn our work. And you can already see the heel is starting to form. Slip purl wise, tug the yarn, and purl across. There are different ways of doing the German short row heel. This is my preferred method. And the way that I like doing it, I find it's the easiest for me. So, let me know below. Have you tried this heel before? Purl those two together. Purl the second double stitch together. And you wanna keep things tight so it doesn't create those gaps. And then turn your work. Want to make sure that that yarn's in the front, slip, and knit. Knit these two together, second one together. You can see the little heel and turn. You can see here that we just have one stitch left on each side and we are going to work these stitches and then we are going to work across and do the exact same thing on the other needle and uh, this has created our short row heel. I will also be showing you after how to join the round again and making sure that you don't have any of the gaps here that sometimes can happen when you knit some heels. So we are going to do our last short row knitting all the way to the end of your work. Working the short row, working the last short row, and turning our work. Now you can see that we've worked all of the stitches on this side. Slip marker. Knit or purl the two together, purl the last. Turn your work and you have just finished your first short row heel. So now we are going to knit across all of these stitches working that last double stitch and transferring over to our second sock. 
When we have officially completed this sock, we drop that sock, making sure we have enough of the cable here. And we are now going to do the exact same thing on our second sock. At the beginning, you saw that I knit one round and I already placed all of my stitch markers, did my first short row heel or my first double stitch. I like doing this just because everything is ready for me when I go to the second needle. I don't have to think, I can just start working that short row right away. So the first stitch is a double stitch. So per again, the exact same thing we did on the other needle. Bring your yarn in the front, slip the stitch purl wise, tug creating that double stitch and knit across. You are just repeating the exact same thing, slipping, that you did on the previous sock. And once you finish your heels, that's when you can resume working in the round as normal. So here we had already done a double stitch. Oh, my yarn's tangled a bit in the back. There we go. We already did the first double stitch, so we are going to knit to the one stitch. So you can see the double stitch right here. We're going to knit to this stitch. And we are going to turn the work. We are going to slip Purl-wise, exact same thing. Take that yarn, bring it up and around, creating that double stitch and working across. You are going to complete your second heel the exact same way and I will meet you here right after to resume joining in the round and how to prevent those little tiny gaps on the side of your heels. We've just finished working the German short row heel on both of our socks and we are ready to start knitting in the round again. Here is a tip and trick on picking up a stitch here to avoiding any gaps. What happens when you knit back and forth, create a little extra fabric here and when you close that in, if you don't pick up any stitches between each side, you will have a little gap at your heel. And here is how you can avoid that. We are going to go into knit, but before that, I am actually going to pick up a extra stitch on this edge and knit it together with my first stitch. This is going to close in a little gap. So what I wanna do, I wanna go in the middle here and pick up a stitch. Now you can see the stitches that they, are, they have little Vs. I'm gonna go right in the middle, pick up both strands of that stitch, lift it, and put it on my needle. Okay, both strands and on the needle. Wanna make sure if it's twisted or if there's any like extra fabric to pick all of that up and place it on your needle. You are then gonna go into knit and you're gonna knit those two stitches together. So you're not increasing your stitch amount. You are just knitting it together. And right here, you're gonna tug a little bit because you do wanna close in that one. And you're gonna knit all the way to the end. Now that we finished on this needle, we are going to do the exact same thing with picking up one of the stitches over here. We are gonna go in here. Wait, did I already do that? And this, no. We're gonna go here and pick up an extra stitch. So you really wanna make sure that you pick up all the legs of that stitch, place it onto your needle, and knit those two together. We are now going to just knit across. Now that we've done that, we have worked all of our stitches, picked up a stitch in each gap, and we are ready to continue working around and around for our feet. You will work however many inches is indicated in your pattern, whatever length that may be. I have a nine inch foot, and I will knit up to 
I will... I have a nine inch foot and I will knit up to 7.75 inches before I place my toe. So I'm just gonna be keep knitting around and around, knitting and I will join you right here after on how to knit your toe. So you're just gonna keep going around and around, knitting your foot and your toe and that's how you knit. German short row heels on two at a time socks. I hope you all really enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, please click that like and subscribe button because I upload a brand new video on my YouTube channel every single Thursday. If there's something that you would like to see in form of tutorial, let me know down below. I would love to hear your suggestions.